Fred Lincoln Ray Jr., the father of the power chord guitar style, was born in Dunn in May of 1929. His mother was Shawnee Indian, a heritage Link talked about all of his life. He learned to play guitar when he was eight years old. Link was sitting on the front porch trying to figure it out when a passerby, a black musician brought up by the Barnum & Bailey Circus, saw Link and stopped. Hambone started playing the blues on a bottleneck slide guitar and Link was hooked. Link was 13 when his unemployed father moved the family to Portsmouth, Virginia to find work. That's where Link and his brothers Vernon and Doug formed their first band playing Western Swing. The Palomino Ranch Hands became quite popular and backed many country and western stars of the day who came through town playing at fairs and on the radio. Link's career was interrupted when he was drafted into the Army during the Korean War. He contracted tuberculosis, which kept Link hospitalized for a year and led to the removal of a lung. Doctors said he'd never sing again. But Link proved them wrong. Link developed his guitar style, a slow drag across distorted strings and a simple chord progression. That led to his recording of Rumble in 1958. It rose to number 16 on the charts, and with Link dressed in black with dark glasses, he soon became the hero to the leather jacket, motorcycle-loving male youth. The following year, Link Ray and the Raymen scored again with Rawhide. They climbed to number 23, and these two hits led to more TV appearances with Dick Clark and others. In the early 60s, Link and the Raymen played the clubs around Washington, D.C., and toured up and down the East Coast as well as the Ivy League colleges in the Northeast. The 70s took the group to the West Coast, where they played at such hot spots as Whiskey A Go Go in L.A. Then it was north to the San Francisco Bay Area. In 73, Link signed with Polydor Records and recorded Be What You Want To with Jerry Garcia and Commander Cody. The Link Ray Rumble in 1974 featured Boz Skaggs and the Tower of Power horn section. In the early 80s, Link moved to Denmark and became a superstar to his European fans. During the early 90s, Link started to receive his long overdue recognition in the U.S. His music has been featured in such movies as Breathless, Desperado, Pulp Fiction, and Blow. Link's oldest daughter, Beth, and her youngest son, Chris Webb, saw Link in July of 1997. He took off his leather guitar strap and handed it to his grandson, saying, that he would be the one to carry on his legacy. Link has been inducted into the Rockabilly Hall of Fame, the Native American Hall of Fame, and is number 45 on Rolling Stone's 100 Greatest Guitarists of All Time. Perhaps it was Pete Townsend of The Who who said it best. If it hadn't been for Link Ray and Rumble, I would have never picked up a guitar. <laughs>